In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning. Malcolm X is attributed to having said the following words. Don't tell me what you value. Tell me what you do, and then I'll tell you what you value. You know, there's a lot of truth to that. And there's a lot of truth to the old adage that you can tell what a person does by taking a look at their hands. Can you imagine if I presented to you on the screen this morning the hands of some people? For example, if I told you or asked you to imagine what the hands of an auto mechanic might look like. I'm sure there'd be grease on an auto mechanic's hands, maybe some oil, oil under the fingernails. It's part of the job, it's what they do. If I was to ask you to imagine what the hands of a hockey player or a boxer might look like, I'm sure their knuckles would be swollen, their hands would be very rough or coarse. That's what the hands of a person like that would look like. If I was to ask you what the hands of a professional golfer might look like, if they put out their hands, you'd see calluses on the palms of their hands from holding and gripping a golf club and swinging. What about the hands of a dentist? A person who puts their fingers in people's mouths I'm sure their hands hopefully would be very clean and their nails would be very short. Likewise, the hands of a fisherman or someone who is outside, their hands exposed to the elements. I'm sure their hands would be chapped and, and swollen and very rugged looking. You can tell a lot about a person just by looking at their hands. This morning, imagine what Jesus' hands look like. He stretches out his hands for you, and you would see that his hands were pierced, pierced with a nail. Jesus' hands were pierced. He was crucified, not because he was a criminal, no. He was crucified out of love for you and me. He became sin. He allowed himself to be crucified out of love so that he might be able to redeem us. We can tell what Jesus values by looking at what he did. We know that Jesus is love. Today, you and I, we're asked to be Jesus' hands today. Will we be able to reach out to people with love? Or are we going to just reach out and grab what we can get for ourselves? Let's be inspired by Jesus. And let's put our hands together right now and pray. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, St. Paul's. I'm Elena, and here are your news. Earth Week Film Festival continues today. The films are Planet Earth, Seasonal Forest, Ocean Deep, and A Crude Awakening, The Oil Crash. Could Andrea Henriquez please come to the cafeteria immediately after these announcements today? The Student Council of St. Paul is aware that all of the suffering and unhealthy conditions families around the world are facing. We have decided to do our part to help. On Wednesday, April 29th, you will be getting a dress down day if you donate $1 in your homeroom class starting Friday, April 24th until Tuesday, April 28th. Your dollar will go to sponsoring a child through the Catholic organization Chalice. Sorry if I said that wrong. We can make a difference if we are willing to help. So please bring in a dollar to help a child in developing a world and receive a dress down day for your efforts. If you forget to pay Friday, Monday, or Tuesday, you will still be able to pay before school during period one in the cafeteria on Wednesday, April 29th to Ms. Calderelli. Homeroom teachers, homeroom teachers, you will find an envelope in your mailboxes to collect this money and check off who's paid. Please keep the envelope until Tuesday. On Tuesday, please put them in Ms. Calderelli's mailbox. A, gen a general list will be sent out to all teachers Tuesday evening. The results of yesterday's Earth Quiz are in. 
There was a tie for first place, so a draw occurred to determine the winning class. Congratulations to Mr. Guillermo's homeroom class. You were the winning class in the EcoStars Earth Day quiz. Prizes will be distributed to you early next week. Congratulations on your recycling knowledge. Please be sure to spread this knowledge to the rest of the school. Way to go. The correct answers will be posted on the Student Council Bulletin Board later today, if you would like to check your answers. Scholarship information. What's your Canada? Share your vision and you could win a $3,500 scholarship. The Royal Bank Scholarship for New Canadians is designed to encourage young people who have immigrated to Canada to share their experience of adjusting to a new life in a new country. More info in student services. All varsity girls soccer players are asked to attend a brief meeting today after school in room 130. The girls slow pitch team is to meet at Crooks Park today after school. SPAC presents the Mississauga Monarchs Basketball Club after school workshop with spring in the air, come and get, the active, come and get your active on and have some fun. To all students interested in improving their basketball skills, the Mississauga Monarchs will be running an after school workshop next Wednesday in the St. Paul gym. This is a free workshop open to all students and to all skill levels, and we're hoping to have a full house for this wonderful opportunity. The workshop will run for an hour and a half. Please sign up on the Phys Ed, Phys Ed Bulletin Board on the west side entrance. Basketball spring training starts this Friday after school in the gym. It is open to all students who are planning on trying out for the basketball teams next year. See Mr. Minot for details. Congratulations to the senior badminton team who battled the Southeast School yesterday in Robs' tournament at Glen Forest Secondary School. The first, the first win of the day was thanks to the doubles team of Emily Perfido and Amanda Kaiser. Whipping his opponent into shape with our second win in men's singles was Vinicio Ferreira. Men's doubles team Patrick Andula and Kevin Santabria achieved their goal of a win before they graduate high school, congratulations, by smashing their way into victory in their second match. An amazing effort doubles teams, Philip D'Souza and David Arrua, and Andrea Henriquez and Katie Cusper, who played their best yesterday. The, cr the crowning glory goes to Leslie Sacken, who gave her opponents a, running for their a run for their money and finished sixth place overall in the Southeast competitions. Congratulations, Leslie. That's all the announcements for today, St. Paul. The song of the day is The Beach by All Time Low. Have a great day.